Hey man, it's your boy 360 Jabs, aka Just a Boy Spinning, and I'm back again with another video. I said I'm back again with another video. Hey, before we go into today's video, I want to thank you guys for supporting me. The numbers and all have been discouraging, but you guys have been supportive. I see the reposts, I see the comments, I see the DMs. You guys have been so, so, so supportive. I appreciate. So let's get straight into today's video. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about the things or the tools you need as a beginner what you're going to need to get your waves you can write as a beginner before we go into the video if you haven't subscribed please do so subscribe if you haven't liked the video yet please drop a like it helps a lot with the upgrading it helps push my video out there for other people to see it so please like share comment you can comment anything it doesn't have to be related to the waves anything at all you want to say just comment put it down in the comment section and i'll be reading it thank you guys a lot for your support so the first thing i'll be showing you guys for getting your waves right is all my og waivers know what i'm about to show you guys if you know what i'm about to show write it down the comment section the first thing is a hairbrush you need a hairbrush to get your waves like this is the most important thing without this you cannot get 360 waves you can't get waves at all if you can use any type of brush you can use this you can use this you can even use this brush this is the brush i started waving with and i have wave now you can use this brush a palm brush any brush at all or just make sure you brush your hair but i'll definitely recommend a wave brush because it can it can help you get waves quick you can get waves really fast with a wave brush but if you can't afford a wave brush why not you can get a regular brush this particular brush is a very good brush to get with it has two sides this is a hard side and this is a soft side so basically you need three types of brush to get to make your waves yeah look good you need a soft brush this is a soft brush you need a medium brush this is medium it's not too hard it's not too soft and you need a hard brush and all these types of brush helps you in different ways i've explained all this in previous videos so you can watch previous videos to understand what a soft brush does what a medium brush does and what a hard brush does so that is it for brushes then if you if you want to get um a wave brush as you can see i got this brush from kings with waves I'll put the link to his Instagram in my description and also I'll put his handle right here. And if you want to get this brush, you can hit me up on my IG. This is my IG handle right here. And I'll also put the link in my description. Every product you see in this video, I'll put the link in my description. The second thing you need as a waiver, as a beginner waiver, is a durag. You need a durag. I'm telling you two reasons why you need a durag. So the first reason is to save your progress. You don't want to brush your hair for 30 minutes for an hour because if you are starting with, you need to brush your hair for as long as you can that you get your waves in quick because the best way to stay motivated and to get waves is by getting waves you need a durag to lay your hair down and to save your progress you get so you need to put on a durag to save your hair progress you can see i have my durag on because i'm trying to save my progress i don't want my brush work to be wasted the second reason why you need a durag is the, the hair adapts to whatever you put on it for example if you put something with a cotton texture on your hair your hair will adapt to the material your hair will be kind of dry and will look kind of cotton like but if you put silk on your hair you need a silky durag if you put a silk durag on your hair 
your hair will look silky and shiny i know my og wavers know that you need silky waves shiny waves you want your hair to be attractive you want that mm, shine that silk looking wave that healthy wave so you need a silk dura if you need this you know where to get it from link in my description also you can get it from kings with waves number three item or two you need in your wave journey is a shampoo you need a shampoo to wash out all those nasty products oils from your hair and again you don't want to wash your hair every day you don't want to wash your hair every time um i recommend you washing your hair twice a week again because your hair produces oils and you want those oils to you know make your hair healthy and do their um jobs in your hair to make your hair strand healthy give you nutrients all that you want those oils to do that job but also you won't want them to stay for too long for your hair to start smelling so you need to wash your hair and i recommend you wash your hair twice and you need a shampoo and i recommend a natural shampoo like you see here i have a black soap shampoo if you can't get a natural shampoo you can get any type of shampoo but natural shampoo is the best number three two number three item you're going to need to get your waves as a beginner is this this is the pomade this is the hair pomade and how you use this is you just rub in your hair rub it according to the pattern your hair is the way you brush and also i have a video that i've done how to brush your 360 waves so if you want to get 360 waves is a particular way you need to brush your hair so you can go and check out that video so you know how to brush your hair to get 360 waves what this does basically is it lays down your hair especially if you're wolfing wolfing is growing out your hair your waves to get better progress to make it shiny to make it deeper so when you're wolfing you need this and also i'm going to be bringing out a um, wave method how you can use this and a hot towel to get your waves quick i'll be bringing the method out soon so you need a pomade me personally i don't use a pomade because i already have waves this is this is recommended for beginners if you don't like putting um on that we have natural pomades but it's we have not seen anyone around but if you don't like um, putting things that are not natural in your hair then don't use the pomade because most of the pomades are not natural i don't really use this that much because i don't like putting things that are not natural in my hair but for a beginner you shouldn't be worried about that you need a pomade to get your waves in quick number a plus count i think we are number four now Number four, the fourth thing you need to get waves is a moisturizer. This is one of the moisturizers that I use. As you can see, country butter, grow strong, a very good moisturizer that I use for my hair. And I also use this. This is another good moisturizer. You can get any moisturizer you, that you see in any store, in a store. Just, I recommend you should keep your products natural. Natural is best and it's good for your hair health. So you need to be moisturizing your hair at least once, twice a week to help your hair keep that moisture and look good. The image on the screen shows you how your hair looks after the wash and style. Then using the moisturizer and using pomade. So I recommend that after you wash your hair, use a moisturizer or you can also use um you can also use a leave-in conditioner or a moisturizer so after you wash your hair you can use a moisturizer then after using the moisturizer you can just use the pomade to lay your hair down then wrap up last but not the least you need a hair butter this is the hair butter i use it's almost finished or you need a butter or you, if you don't like using butter or grease you can use oil um natural oils castor oil is good for your hair coconut oil is good for your hair um almond oil is good for your hair just look for natural oils it helps your hair shine all these oils they have their benefits but butters most butters they have different oils in them so that's why i recommend you to buy butter and 
those use it, it helps with your hair health and stuff like that so we've come to the end of this video if you haven't smashed the like button go now smash the life of the like button give this video a thumbs up if you want to comment, if you want to say anything, just go ahead say in the comments anything at all. It doesn't have to do with anything I said here. It doesn't have to even do with wave. Subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to this channel. It's your boy 360 Jabs and I'm out. Peace.